have our own art gallery. We have a full-time wedding photography studio. Um, pretty much, pretty much exactly where we want to be. People often comment about our our uh, wildlife photography in particular that it has a very strong portraiture feel about it, and I think a lot of that comes from the wedding photography and basically shooting shooting our subjects in a way that we try to connect with them emotionally, and uh, I think that also carries through even into our work that does not involve um, people or animals. Yeah. But uh, I think we we shoot with a very strong um, sense of feeling or intuition, and I think that is probably the the single most defining character of our work. So when you go to Old Town and you go shopping and you see postcards of like a skeleton and a donkey crawling through the desert and there's a sign that says 20 miles to water and underneath that it says, but it's a dry heat. And when our business first originated, it was, um, began as a fine art photography endeavor that primarily consisted of abandoned buildings and ghost towns, cemeteries, and uh, things that were generally hot and grimy, dusty, deserted, things of that nature. So, like a dry heat. Uh, right, so the name dry heat photography was very fitting and later on when it became our primary business and our wedding photography studio, the name was already established so we just stuck with it. And we felt it was unique and people remember it. People remember it. People and ask they ask, about it. but what does it mean? They think it's a process most of the time, some sort of dry heat photography, some sort of process that we do to get the images to look the way we do, but that's top secret.